SMT Nation, we back. Nation, update to the messy situation that is T-Mobile and Dish with respect to the 800 megahertz frequency spectrum. It's been pretty rough. Uh, this was supposed to be paid for by Dish to the tune of $3.5 billion. Kind of part of the whole, you know, T-Mobile and Sprint merger and the Dish piece and all of that. Uh, Dish has had a hard time of it. They've got financial issues. Uh, they've had to focus on the network build requirements to their different checkpoints with the FCC. And, uh, you know, they, they've they found it tough sledding to, to put together their finances. So the hard part here is that borrowing money today, and it's been like this for a while now, is very expensive, right? The, the rate to borrow is, is as high as it's ever been, and it's probably not coming down anytime soon. Right, rates will continue to hike and increase for the foreseeable future. And that's made life very challenging on Dish. And of course, their credit rating is probably the weakest within the industry. And there's a whole bunch of different inflationary pressures going on. It's just hard to be Dish right now. No doubt about it. They put themselves in a bad situation because of timing, uh, lack of capital. Their TV business is a dying, you know, it's a dying industry. Their boost mobile retention rates are horrible the churn rates are the worst in the industry i mean there's so many different things that they're up against right and they just did a huge round of layoffs and other things but they're trying to figure it out and they need more time to be able to pay for the 800 megahertz frequency so they've requested that extension and t-mobile is pushing back and saying no they should not be granted the extension it's not going to change the outcome you know t-mobile wants to move on specifically what t-mobile is saying is that Dish basically wants T-Mobile to carry the burden of the spectrum while it's being unutilized. And that, of course, will cost T-Mobile a lot of money. Now, I, I will be honest with you guys. There's no love lost between these two companies. All right, Dish and T-Mobile are like, it's like oil and water. And it's been like that since the mer merger onset. You know, T-Mobile has tried to bury Dish every step of the way. And, you know... Dish has fought back and and they've they've pushed back and it's been very prickly. All right, so that burden of 215 million dollars to carry the the 800 megahertz for an additional 10 months, the extension request, you know that just adds to the fees. You know it adds to the costs. And of course, nobody is more cognizant of overhead and costs and operations than T-Mobile because they've got merger synergies they're trying to achieve. They've got investors that they're trying to please holding up their end of the bargain what they told investors four years ago, three years ago and two years ago with Synergies. Uh, we know that there are companies that are interested in the 800 megahertz frequencies. There's different holdings companies and engineering companies and utility companies that are interested. You know, it's probably going to be utilized for like IoT networks. And, and of course, these are national holdings, folks. You know, but, but this is messy. So you've got Dish requesting a request. Uh, or excuse me, requesting an extension of time to be able to pay for this. If they can't, they owe $72 million to T-Mobile. And then what T-Mobile can do is they basically have to auction it. All right. And the, the reserve would be at the price that Dish would have to pay, which is $3.5 billion. And, um, you know, then so T-Mobile would, would recoup the money. Uh, they would move on from this whole thing. Again, Dish in a weaker position because they'd have less spectrum especially being a low band, which means it's got reach. You know, this is pretty messy. All right, but this is a good update because it lets you know where Dish stands. It lets you know where T-Mobile stands. And now we kind of know what the outcome is going to be. And, you know, as the, the district court that's reviewing this, they have to make a decision. Are we going to support Dish as we try to fight for this fourth carrier network? Or are we going to side with T-Mobile and allow them to kind of move on with this? You know, and I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really have a personal opinion. I've always said we're better off with four national carriers. Uh, but I could see what T-Mobile is doing here. And of course, T-Mobile wants to just bury Dish once and for all. And, and that's kind of where that is. Uh, we'll, we'll see how they play out. I Again, I don't have a dog in the fight. I don't really give a damn. Ultimately, you know, if Dish was going to survive, they were going to survive. And if they were going to fail, they were going to fail. That's how it was going to always be. And, you know, no sweat off of my back. And, you know, you guys know how I feel about T-Mobile when it comes to their business operations. Nobody as grimy and dirty as they are, you know. So to me, you know, you're 
you're between a rock and a hard place. I mean, well, <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're choosing between trash and garbage. You know, what do you guys think? Sound off. Go to the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Comment down below. And don't forget, if you want to support your favorite YouTube creators, you guys can find different ways to do that. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.